though the pandemic left so many people struggling or unable to pay rent. And state and federal assistance is there to fill in that gap. But well, one landlord reached out to contact Denver 7 saying 80 of his tenants are still waiting on state money. As Denver 7's Liz Gillardi shows us, the unpaid rent is creating a burden for everyone. So Terra Village is on 15 acres, it's 400 units. Location and affordability are selling points for Terra Village apartments. Property manager and owner Bill Bivens says over the past year, landlords have gotten a bad rap. Knowing that people really struggle and they kind of live month to month, we decided as an ownership group uh, to give the uh, tenants a 30% discount going into COVID before we knew that the state was going to start paying people's rents. Then money started coming in from the emergency rental and mortgage assistance program. Tenants might be eligible if they're unable to pay rent due to a financial hardship caused by COVID-19. We did everything we were supposed to do, and now we're sitting there in February, March, April, May, and now heading into June, we haven't got paid on anybody except for one tenant out of 80. You heard him right. Out of 400 units, 80 tenants using the program are behind on rent. They signed a contract to agree to pay these rents. And if they're not getting assistance, I, I don't want to evict them. I, I want to pay the bills and pay my mortgage. A spokesperson for Colorado's Department of Local Affairs said in a statement, we can see that this property owner has diligently uploaded requests for numerous tenants. However, the federal guidelines also require significant information from the tenants themselves, including income documentation and a description of how they were impacted financially. The state added they recognize it's a complicated application process and they're working to simplify it. The Colorado Apartment Association says they're hearing from members with similar complaints. I do think that they need to focus on uh, uh, creating a helpline or a communications when there's problem files. And I do think that uh, relaxing the, the uh, paperwork and documentation that has to come from the residents on these files would be helpful. Bivens says he's at a loss after working to help tenants stay in their homes. He's not sure what else he can do. But with 80 tenants behind on rent, he's now staring down half a million dollars in debt. We're not looking for a handout. We're just saying, hey, you know, if the rents are owed, we need to get them paid. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.